All right, so let's dive on in and talk about the store. And I want to start to do this a little bit more, to be completely honest here on stream. I want to go through these offers. I want to talk to you guys because it is a common question I'm seeing both in our Discord. I'm seeing it in the ENC Discord for newer players. I'm seeing it in Global Discord. This is just my take on it, on talking about what makes sense out of all of these offers and things that you could potentially do, right? Are any of them worth your time, effort, and resources? And if so, how much so? So we're going to take a look at all of it. We're going to rank these packs, pieces, kits, etc. just in a couple of semi-simple categories, right? We're going to go ahead and do it as five groups, which I'm going to label simply as get it now. It's a smart buy. If you want, do you have to? And do not buy. That's how it's going to work. Plain and simple. Because everybody has a different budget. Everybody has different ideas of what they want to spend, whether it's their orbs or whether it's their credit card. Everybody else, look, everybody plays the game differently. Some people allocate a budget, some people don't. Look, that's the that's one of the things about these style of gotcha games is that you kind of have to be ready for anything. And the developers, they of course, they want you to spend money. So if you're going to and you want to support the game, just like it gives you entertainment, and I've said this for other games in the past too, certain games, if you play it hours a day, Look, consider it like a Netflix subscription. A little investment is not a bad thing. Even micro. Micro. And there's a lot of smart ways to do that here in this game. So let's dive on in. Let's just go through. We're going to go through the store one by one. We're going to take a look over here and just simply say, this is the big one. This is the one that scared people. Here we go. All right, we're going to get this one out of the way first and foremost. We're going to talk about this giant mega $100 pack of Wally. Four stars. <sighs> Look, if it wasn't Ian, if it was any B tier or higher character, I'd say this is probably going to end up being a smart buy. If you spend in this game and you want to really go for it, you know, it's said within the sentence right there. If you want to go for it. Look, Wally, both pre-fix, uh, post-fix, properly working now. Honestly, he's still a ridiculously fantastic tune. I'm going to say that he's an if you want tune. Because if you want to spend the $100 for a four-star Wally, he's absolutely worth it. He is a fantastic support tank. He really does a great, great job, and he's worth it. Now, the reason he's this isn't a smart buy is because it's Ian. Yes, you do get five famed crystals in this, and you get some extra resources, but I'll say just leave it at if you want. The three-star Wally bundle, the fact that this also comes with five famed crystals, and then orbs and gold. I really like this pack for a lot of intro people. I'm going to put this as a smart buy. And the reason so is because $25 for a character that you can put into leader and pair with a ranged character with almost any support. You know what? If you've got a strong ranged character and you need a tank that's going to make a difference, Wally's going to do that for you. So in that case, I would say he would be a smart buy for someone who's just coming on in now. Okay. Then you've got the dynamic duo bundle. This is only those little tiny famed crystals. You got just three of them. Okay. The others were five packs. These are three packs. Little different of a ball game here. Little different of a ball game, but it's only eight bucks. Think of it like this. The Wally pack was $25 and you got five famed crystals. If you didn't get Wally at all, right? Just the famed crystals, they'd be $5 a crystal. So this is three crystals for eight bucks, and then you don't get the character. I kind of put it in the sense of, if you want. I think there are better ways to get these crystals for less sometimes. And just it, it, it's just a, if you want, go for it. It's not going to be the end of the world either way. But not my favorite pack. I'm going to, I'm lumping the two of these ones together. These are the... If you unlock Wally, 
somehow, whether you purchase them or you get them in a famed crystal or whatever, these unlock for you, right? You've got the level 30 pack and the level 50 pack. In my opinion, it's if you're farming your resources appropriately and you're investing into other areas of the game, you shouldn't need this whatsoever. So I label it as, do you, do you need to? You know, do you have to? I, I'm going to say most people, for new characters, if you start hoarding and start saving up and you do it the right way, you know, there could be a character that comes in out and absolutely slaughters it. Now, this pack will apply probably the same way with Simba when he comes out a week from the recording of this. So it's probably going to be the same case for Simba. If you're saving up your resources for Simba, you're not going to need this pack. I saved up mine. If I unlock Simba, I'm ready to bring him to level 50 like that because I've been saving up my resources. All right, let's continue on. We're There's only five days left, but it's worth talking about the three-star Zerg bundle because, in my opinion, this is a really good deal. Take a look at this. You got two famed crystals and then three astrals, which is a range three, to uh, three four, or five star. Three, four, or five star, right? If you go back to that Wally bundle, it was five famed crystals, 308,000. This is five, hey, how you doing, Crystals, and just 200 orbs. In my opinion, this is almost as good, if not better, than the Wally pack. So I'm going to go ahead, and we're going to go ahead and put that one, the $24.99, in Smart Buy category. I might be able to argue into Get It Now because of just how good Zerg is. But I, right now, Smart Buy feels good. Uh, the featured bundles. Now, we, we saw this first happen with Hiro Hamada for $12.99, a three-star hero, which I was telling people, yes, go ahead, get it, because that made sense. Then we saw it for Maui, who was a pretty good character, pretty good character, um, a little less on the eagerness to go unlock Maui at three stars, where he's good, but he's not meta in any way, shape, or form. Uh, but now we've got Captain Hook. Now, obviously, the fact that the Captain Hook event, the hounding... Hook's hounding hunt thing is uh, is now here. I guess that's why they put him in there, but he's he needs a lot. He's just not doing enough as of yet. You know, he's a lower tier character, and if you're going to spend $13 in the game somewhere, I'd say do it elsewhere, honestly. Um, in my opinion, this is the first of the do not buys of the do not buys. I apologize, Captain Hook. You're fun to play and you have got some unique synergies like Wally, as we talked about in the Wally video. But, eh, just not... He's not worth buying. He's better just getting him from a Stellar Crystal, right? All right. Speaking of Stellar Crystals, we now have the slightly different... We've seen this one before as a three crystal variation. This is a six crystal variation. Excuse me, six stellar crystals with then 800 uh, major moats, the universal ones, and 400 theirs, and 30. That's a goal. Look, the fact that your stellar crystals, typically, if you're buying straight up stellar crystals, right? If you're buying them straight up, they're 180 orbs. Which means if you got six of them, you'd be spending 1080. No, not 1080. Sorry, have that. No, 1080. That's right. I'm doing... I'll catch up, people. So it would be six of them time, times 180. You'd end up with 1080. Right. So I was like, I did this math earlier. I promise I'm tired, but not really. Just go with it. So for... Think of it this way. For 120 orbs, you'd be getting all of the rest of that. And in my opinion, that's a much better deal than the first version, which was like... 800 orbs for three of them and then a whole bunch of the same three items but good quantity too this is much better however there are a lot of ways to get stellar crystals in this game so if you need both resources and crystals this is a good pack in my opinion this is a good pack um it's not the best pack but i'm gonna put this in the if you want category. This is going to be an if you want. I feel good about this being in the if you want place, right? 
Now we've got the, some of the cards are coming up here, people. Now we've got the crystalline card. Crystalline, crystalline, I don't know. Either way, when you get the card, 20 bucks, 14 days, all 14 days, you get a stellar, a stellar crystal, right? But you also get a guaranteed four star choice crystal. So that's pretty good. The fact that it's a, I think it's 70% drop rate for a two star character, and then a 25% drop rate, rough, again, these are rough numbers, roughly a 25% drop rate to get a three star and then only 5% for four or five star. I would relook at this pack and basically say, you're spending 1999 for the four star character and some Stardust. This one is not my favorite recommendation in the game. I think if there was more on the initial purchase, this would justify a little bit better. So I'm gonna leave this one as a do you have to. I think this as a do you have to makes a lot of sense for me. What's going on, Briar Lori, Captain Red? How you guys doing, guys? And please let me know if any of this you like adamantly agree or disagree with. It's like game changing for you because I'm curious to see what you guys, if you guys uh, and girls, obviously uh, spend in this game, right? Now we're into the dragon sword. Now the next two, I'm going to kind of talk about semi conjunctively because you have the treasure trove and the dragon's hoard cards, right? Mickey. Hey, -oh. so the treasure trove is $6.99. You get 150 orbs and then a bonus little extra stellar crystal, 75 orbs a day for 14 days. Once you've purchased that one time, you then get the Dragon's Horde card, which is 180 orbs per day for $14.99. Now, there is some bad math in this in the game, okay? I'll be honest with y'all. There's some bad math in the game because think about this, right? Think about this. Remember the that crystalline card a second ago, okay? You got one of those crystals every single day for 14 days and it was 19.99. A stellar crystal costs how much? 180 orbs. Ta-da! So why? If you want crystals, it's in a way better to get the Dragon's Horde card and then just buy a stellar crystal every single day. Ah! So it's a little frustrating. So I, I don't understand that, which is why the crystalline card is a do you have to. This, in my opinion, because you have flexibility with your orbs, you can use them however you need if you don't end up getting a crystal for it. It is much better. So, here's the way I look at it, taking a look at the actual tier list. The 699 card. I'm gonna say a do you have to, because it is not worth it after the first purchase, because you have to purchase this one to get this one. This one, in my opinion, is a very smart buy. It's one of the cards I would recommend most in the game, which kind of leads us to the energy cards. Similar mindset. You have the main energy card, which is only $2.99. Only $2.99. So that's a low investment. And then you get an extra 20 energy every day for the following five days. I mean, the follow following 14 days, Five extra on the initial purchase, plus it's daily one. It's uh, sorry, six extra. My apologies. And a stellar crystal. This is a good one. This is a good one. Um, for three dollars as a micro spender, that adds up. So that's gonna go into the if you want category. But then we get to the big one, the major energy, where you get ten on initial purchase plus the five on day one. So day one, you're getting 15 of those, plus an Astro Crystal for 10 bucks for two weeks. In my opinion, this is one of the most recommended things to get in the game, in my opinion. This is a fantastic deal, especially given all of the different game modes that use the exact same energy. 
exact same energy. I would say without a question of the doubt, this is a get it now item. This is one of the best offers you're gonna find in the store. And guess what? It's there all the time. This is your Netflix subscription. This one is worth it. 10 times through. I get it almost, almost instantaneously. I legitimately haven't gotten it, so I can show you the pack in the store. <laughs> so, tis what it is. Now, now we go to the gold one. The gold one is the Golden Spoils card. You get 5,000 gold a day. Plus, same routine, right? You get five times, well, sorry, 10 times worth on your first day. Five bucks for 5,000 gold a day. This is a very good deal. This is a, this becomes a needed resource a little bit later on in the game. Maybe not in the very beginning, but after about a month, month and a half or so, you start feeling it. Once you start looking to rank up those characters to rank four, rank five, rank six, and you start paying 25, 50, 75, you know, plus 100,000 gold to move those characters up, yet alone the talents themselves, that's its own cost. Like, this does become a pretty good deal. Pretty good deal. But now we have the Celestial Golden card, which is a new variation on this card, where as you see for three times the amount, you get three times the gold. You get 15,000 gold a day. The initial purchase gives you 90,000 gold, but then you get five of the lottery crystals. Again, these, these are not the way to farm gold. They are lottery crystals. You got about a 4% chance to get something worthwhile. 4%. It, they're just for fun. So if you got five of those crystals, your average throw is going to be about 800 per throw based on the percentage wave, if you will. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Whoa. This is a revelation. This is a revelation. They have changed these crystals. Look at this. They changed the percentages. They changed the minimums. They upped the amount of gold. Ooh, wow. Okay, so now, now you've got about a 75% chance to pull between 10 and 15,000 gold times that by five. So let's call it 12 and a half times by five. That's going to give you 72.5. So let's call it 75,000 gold as an average from those. That's 165,000 gold plus 15 on day one. That's 180,000 gold. Woo, buddy. That actually changes its placement. I'm glad I clicked that to show that and then find out that they upped it. Wow, okay. That's new. Those quantities are new because previously the bottom like six were 5,000 gold or less. And the average was 800 gold per pull. This is, this is a game changer right here. So now having the Celestial Gold card in mind, right? I'm gonna say the Golden Spoils is a smart buy, right? It is absolutely a smart buy, only if you want though, because I'm gonna put it to the top of if you want, because it depends on where you are in the game. Right? There will come a time where gold starts to become a crunch. And when it does, this will become your best friend. This will. For five bucks for two weeks, that's enough of a boost. You'll notice it, especially when you're leveling up talents, you'll notice it immediately. So, big thumbs up, right? Now, the Celestial, now seeing what the Celestial card has done. With them changing those gold crystals, I'm going to say pretty confidently, that's honestly, that's a get it now card. 15,000 gold per day, plus you're starting day one with 180,000 gold in and of itself. That is a huge, huge perk to that card. I'm still going to say the energy card is a better, like more important get it now thing, but that's a big play right there. That's a big play. All right, let's move on. We've got some new packs. We got some new packs. We have this brand new Supreme Signet Bundle, which kind of blows my mind, okay? 
look at this. You get 10 of the uncommon books, three rares, and five universal signets. So obviously you're probably gonna wanna pour them all into one character. Which character? That's obviously up to you. But here's my comparison point, okay? If you go into the bazaar and you find the uncommon book of practice, that book alone, when it pops up in the bazaar, is 50 orbs. This is giving you 10 of them for 390. Oh, and then let me also add on three rares and five signets. This is a really good deal for 390 orbs. This is a really good deal. If this was a $10 pack, I would consider it as a smart buy. But the fact that it is only 390 orbs, a save up resource, people. You've got a week from the time that we're recording this to get it. This is gonna move up, I'd say, more important than the Celestial Gold, but it is definitely a get it now for 390 orbs. It is worth that ranking. When I saw that when I logged in today, I was like, you've gotta be kidding me. <laughs> Cause that's, that's just nuts. Now we've got these three star bundles. Now you see Melee Monday, Tank Tuesday, right? And it themes on through the first four, first four days of the calendar week, Monday through Thursday. So um, five bucks for a random three star character. Look, this is like if you're very early game and you don't know how to spend, in my opinion. If you don't know how to spend, it's because you didn't watch this video on this one where I tell you, y'all, don't get this. No, it is not worth it. It is not, not worth it. Getting a three-star character and all of that resource from a billion other locations for a lot easier. Even when you get the further one that once you purchase it, you get the second level that you can then unlock and that it just, no, just, no, <laughs> it's just not good. Just like the Sapphire bundle, $25 for a tier three Sapphire or tier three Ruby or Emerald, etc., This is another no to me. This is another no. This is a farmable resource. You get these pieces and these resources in your dungeons. If you do your dungeons, you do not need this bundle. If it was like half the price, we'd talk, but unfortunately this is also gonna go in the do not buy category. Now we're into the epic books. You get five epic books. Now we're looking like really late game, okay? Now we're starting to say you're built, you're needing your epic books once you got to start bringing characters to milestone 17 or you're trying to move their advance just anywhere past uh, level eight. That's when you need this, right? That's when you need this because for $4 per epic book, if you are super late game and you're bringing up just your, what we'll call, call your core three or five, little flexibility in there, right? Your core, core characters, characters that work in multiple towers, characters that you use in a dungeon and an event that are, you know, built up five-star astral something, etc. Maybe because for $4 a book, it's actually not a bad deal. It's not a bad deal if, because if, if is good, right? If you need this one. So this is gonna specifically rest in the do you have to category. Uh, I'm gonna put it on the lower end. I'm not gonna have it past the resources you get from the advanced pieces, but if you're super late game, and you're not doing your towers, uh, this could be a great way to move forward for $4 a book. If. Next up, the major energy recharge bundle. We've seen different variations of these come on through, right? We see the, uh, we see the minor one that comes on down here where it's 20 of those for, like, I think it's a, like 160, something crazy low. And then the major one, like you see right here now for 260. And now there's even been a superior one where it's 20 of them for 400 orbs. 
whenever these pop in the store like this as these bundles for 20 of those units, y'all, move faster. <laughs> Just move faster because it's an instant get. Typically in the store, in the bazaar, I should say when it pops up in the bazaar, 10 of them cost 180 orbs, which is the best you can get at random in the bazaar is X10. So times that by two, 360, right? This is 260. Guys, this is 30% less. This is a huge difference. Uh, whether you're late game, early game, mid game, end game, started yesterday, doesn't matter. In my opinion, out of all of those, that is hands down the must get. The minor one, you might be able to justify skipping when it pops up. The superior one, if you don't have the orbs, you can justify obviously skipping that one. But whenever the major one is here, y'all, I would highly, highly recommend. This is one of the best deals for orbs that drops in the game. Don't make the mistake of missing out on it. It should be, as soon as it pops up, like when you open your game, you should be able to go, hmm, oh, this is back. Click. Like, just reflex. It was tough to not just so I could tell you all about it <laughs> because it really is that good of a deal. Now, we're going to take this one step further because first off, let me be very clear here. Everything above my head right now, the major energy one for $20, the minor for $10, the practice books, the knowledge of a bundle, do not buy them. That's just the whole general category. Do not buy them. They're absolutely not worth it. However, out of all of these bad boys that we talked about today, there are a couple I do want to add onto the tier list that are coming in this month of August. Because we can pretty safely guess there's going to be a variation of this for Simba and Aladdin. Simba and Aladdin, from the time of this recording, come to us in seven or eight days. And y'all, if they put this exact same pack a four-star Aladdin, a four-star Simba, five famed crystals for Simba in addition to that, plus 10 signets for Simba, and then those extra little pieces there. In my opinion, that $99 bundle, which I have listed here, I should say, as a if you want, this prediction combo bundle I'm going to say is actually going to be for $100 a smart buy. Because after looking at the videos of, of Simba that are currently floating around out there, because he's not technically farmable available at this recording time, but I can say I'll, I'll be testing him later on this week. Thank you once again to Kabam and the Kabam Creator Program. So we get the opportunity to test these characters prior to their official launch, I'll say very, very confidently. Very confidently. Simba's going to be nuts. Oh, and then let's also throw Aladdin here, who's an A, B tier character. That's a really smart deal. Really, 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 really smart deal. So I'm going to call that a smart buy. Just like if they put on a Simba bundle, just like they have this Wally bundle, where it gives you a three-star guarantee, it gives you two of the famed crystals for Simba, and then three famed crystals for Aladdin, plus and plus, for $25. I'm also going to say, as a prediction, if that bundle comes to the game, again, both of these prediction bundles, I'm going to say again and again and again, we do not know, even via the Kabam Creator Program, if these bundles are coming to the game exactly as the Wally ones copy and paste. But if they do, if, if they do, their ratings are clearly to say that a $25 price point, this is totally worth it, guys. This is absolutely totally worth it. Simba is going to be that good of a character. I can already tell you that confidently 
from the videos, the testing, Simba Saiyan will be worth it. Even more so than Wally. And Wally's already a good character. Wally's, I don't know where he's going to place on the tier list, but he's going to end up either B, A, or S. There's no question of a doubt. Probably A or S. And then Simba's better than that. So I think that's pretty safe to say that that's going to be a worthwhile investment if you are to invest into the game. So hopefully this is the right screen. Let me switch this over here. So here's the browser screen. Let me go full screen on it. So there it is. There is the larger version of this, and I will also have this graphic up in our Discord. So if you're not a part of the Discord, come join the community on the guest list. I will post this also in there as well, in my opinion, for August 2022. This is the store bundles, most likely for the entire month. Keyword, if, if is good, right? If all of that comes to be, I think this is at the moment going to be a pretty safe investment. Right now, energy is king and gold comes second. Orbs are very close. Orbs are very, very, very close. I'm not going to lie. Uh, if you are going to do the orbs, it would not be a, uh, a an unwise decision. As someone who invests into the game, I'll say I don't invest a lot. I invest very strategically and very smartly. Is that a word? No. But those cards that you see there, I, without a question of a doubt, I get. And I invite you to think about the same because if this is your main source of entertainment it's worth it if it is worth it for you do so obviously everything is if i would never and kambam will never ever force you to buy anything we have said it multiple times on here on this channel this game is extremely free to play friendly but if it has the option to potentially invest and it's worth it, key wording, and it's worth it, then you may want to consider it. So let's give it a little official zoom there. Go away, ads. All right. Well, you're going to be there, ads, whatever. All right. So there's your get it nows. Unofficial. Can I, can I get rid of this? No. There we go. All right. I can't get rid of that. That's unfortunate. So there it is. There's your energy bundles. There's your screenshot, people. There's your smart buys. There's your if you wants. There's your do you have to. And there's the do not buy. Yeah, it's a little cut off, but you get the idea. Happy gaming. Let's give it a shot. You say there's a new card in the store. Ooh, the Chroma Cube card plus. So there was a first card, which I think was $4.99. And now, ooh. Seven day card, 1500 per. Is this one of each? Wally, Simba, yep, Ian, and Aladdin. Even just for the four famed crystals for $7.99. Plus, that's basically a book or a signet. Y'all, I cannot tell you how badly I need payday to come. <laughs> 